In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change your thermostat on your Ford F-150. Uh, some of the th uh, things you'll need is a new thermostat, which is around 10 bucks at your uh, local auto store. An O-ring, uh, usually doesn't come with it, that's an extra dollar. Uh, some rags to make sure uh, it doesn't drain on your uh, driveway. A bucket to drain your fluid. About 3 gallons of uh, antifreeze concentrate and about another three gallons of distilled water, an eight millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, a water hose, uh, it's usually around uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, I'll show you guys the spot to check it. All right, so first off, you wanna pop off your radiator cap and then uh, there's a little nozzle right down here. I have another video to show you guys uh, where it is, but that's uh, just to turn it counterclockwise and to drain your radiator fluid. And I use a little hose right there to make sure it doesn't just spray everywhere. And just drain it into a pan. All right, so next off, you're gonna remove your intake piping. Uh, just some 10 millimeter bolts right here. So you wanna remove this just uh, and later we'll move that and that's the thermostat location right there and this is just one 10 millimeter bolt just loosen it up and uh, pull it out and after you remove this uh, you'll get access to the air box which is connected to the thermostat housing so right now just unscrew in the 10 millimeter bolt and uh, just while you're watching this part, uh, you usually want to change your thermostat every 100 to 150,000 miles. Just if you see any issues with uh, your engine warming up or your heater having issues. Uh, the radiator thermostat is uh, designed to block the flow of coolant to the radiator until the engine is warmed up. So your thermostat reduces your engine wear, your deposit, and your emissions. Now you want to remove your air in box so you get access uh, to your thermostat and uh, there's some clips that you have to unclip. There's one on each side, just pointing them out. And there's uh, two 8 millimeter bolts, I believe. It's either 8 or 10, so just have those two sockets ready. And there's four of them right around it. Just remove that. So after you get remove uh, those four bolts, now you have access to the housing and the radiator, upper radiator hose, which is uh, holds the thermostat housing. And you want to squeeze just so you can get most of the coolant out, so you won't have a big mess. I found out either way I did it. There's a little bit of coolant that came out, so put a drain underneath and uh, put some rags in just to make sure uh, you don't make a big mess another way is you can unclip it from the thermostat housing but that tends to introduce new leaks and new problems so just I would recommend using two eight millimeter bolts and removing it and uh, you have access to the thermostat and I'm just putting down some rags to make sure I catch any extra coolant and just kind of wiggle it out it's probably been sealed in kind of over the couple years it's been on there and nope, now it's out and uh, I did have quite a bit of fluid come out, so good thing I had the rags there. And now you got access to the thermostat to remove it. You're going to have to remove the O-ring, which is uh, right on top. It's sealed in there pretty nicely, but a little jimmying, you're able to get it out. And here's your thermostat. Mine's pretty worn down. Just clean it off. And... Uh, Still works great, but it's about time I needed to change it. So make sure uh, here's the old one, here's the new one. They're around nine bucks, eight bucks from uh, Amazon.
Don't forget to put your O-ring on. Clean around the place. Use some brake cleaner and a rough rag to just make sure everything nice and snug when you screw it back down. Mine's pretty clean as you can see, but just get all the gunk and stuff that's built up over the years. Now, of course, put it uh, in the right way. Thermostat should be facing the upper part of the hose. Of course, you want to just do everything backwards. Put this on, make sure it's nice and snug. Put two 8mm bolts back in. Don't screw it in too tight. They're just aluminum threads, so you don't want to strip anything. Just go back and forth so you can have even nice pressure around it. So it can squeeze the O-ring nice and evenly. Of course your air inbox now, put the four bolts around there and just kind of jimmy on this uh, intake part right here. And then the intake piping tip is just to uh, put one side in first, usually the side near the wheel well. And that's pretty much it. Add the coolant and your distilled water. And uh, go inside and make sure your heater turns on and that's it.